This video is sponsored by Intel. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we're gonna be talking about some features you gotta know about before you buy your next laptop. And it is graduation season, shout out to the graduates. So whether you're moving on to a new school or maybe going for a full-time job, this one's for you. Now the first feature we gotta talk about is on this guy right here, and that is Intel's one watt display, also known as their low power display. And what this is basically going to do is increase the battery life on your laptop. Now, even though this is called a low power display, don't let that confuse you. This is still a really good panel that gets plenty bright, even in a room like this with a ton of windows and a lot of light coming in, it still looks really good and you can still see all the content on your screen without a problem. So brightness, not an issue, even though it's called a low power display. Now let me give a quick little explanation about one watt displays and why this is actually a cool feature. Usually displays are about two watts, so that means about half the consumption that you would get from a standard display is what you're getting here, which definitely impacts the battery life. No matter what the device is, whether it's a laptop or a smartphone, depending on the display and the brightness that you have it at, it could really impact the battery life on that device. So with the display being one of the biggest things that consume battery life on a laptop, it's awesome that they actually tried to bring that down while still keeping the same quality of the display. So with students in mind, especially if you're in college and you're on campus, you want your laptop to survive as long as possible, especially if you're on the go and you don't wanna to stick to a wall and be plugged in, it is gonna be a really, really helpful thing to have more juice. Now this right here is the Razer Blade Stealth 13 and it features the one watt display, but it isn't the only one that features this display. I'll of course have links down below in the description for all the laptops that I know of that currently have have this so if you guys are interested in saving some battery life those are the ones you want to look into but of course the list is growing it's still pretty new technology so we will hopefully be seeing that in future laptops and it's great because these laptops with these low power displays are still powered by an eighth generation intel core i7 processor so you're still getting that great power and great battery life now one of my personal favorite features on this list is actually called windows hello and for those of you who don't know what Windows Hello is, it pretty much uses the webcam on your laptop or a special webcam actually to scan your face and unlock your device. And you can actually find that feature on a ton of different computers, but where it's most popular is with smartphones. Being able to unlock your phone with your face is something that's pretty normal nowadays. And that's the feature that's been on laptops for a while now. So it still drives me kind of crazy when I see new laptops come out without this feature. So it's definitely something you want to check out. If I were to put this computer to sleep and when I go to wake it up, let's see, and boom, log me in just like that. So that is really awesome, not being forced to type in a password or a pin of any sort. It's really nice to be able to just hit a key, wake up the computer, and have it scan the face and you get right in. Now Windows Hello doesn't only come in the form of a face scanner, it actually uses other things as well. So with this laptop over here, if I wanted to put this guy to sleep and wake it up, you'll notice that right here, this little square is a fingerprint scanner. So if I wanna wake this guy up, I just hit this, boom, and I'm inside. So very quick access to your computer with your face or your fingerprint, depending on what you want or what your computer supports, but it is extremely helpful. And that laptop that we were using with the fingerprint scanner is actually called the Acer Swift 7, and it has a cool feature that you should definitely look out for. It has Intel's 4G LTE capability, and with that, you can pretty much get a SIM card inside of this guy and get data connection anywhere you go that you would probably get data connection, just like you would with your smartphone. It is a different kind of beast when your laptop can go on the internet, no matter where you are. So for my students, if your campus happens to have some pretty crummy Wi-Fi, this is going to change everything for you because you won't need to rely on that Wi-Fi anymore. And not only that, it's also just safer to be able to have your own private connection rather than being on a public Wi-Fi network when you're accessing things like the bank or whatever private information you may be accessing, this thing is gonna be a lot safer, a lot faster most likely, and overall just a lot more convenient. And while we're on the topic of having a data connection, there's actually another feature. Ah, are you mind passing me the razor? Now this guy right here actually has 
the Intel wireless AC feature. Now, what that basically does is allows you to have a stronger data connection with your Wi-Fi. Now, you will need a supporting router and service to make it work, but if you do have it, that is something you're gonna wanna look into when you're purchasing your next laptop. With this feature, you're pretty much able to get better speeds on your Wi-Fi as well as have better connectivity. So for me, you guys might've seen my video where I had to put a ton of different Wi-Fi access points in my house because I just couldn't get Wi-Fi in certain spots. There were a lot of dead zones. And with the wireless AC feature, I wouldn't need as many as the six that I have right now throughout my house. So that is also something you're gonna want on your radar if you're making a laptop purchase in the near future. So that's pretty much my list. And I really do think that these things will impact the way you use your computer on a daily basis. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna learn more about any of these features like that low power display, I'll of course have links down below in the description for you to check out. If you like these kind of videos, let me know with a comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.